I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget, Lord, your faithfulness. How can I forget, Lord, your benefits? I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget, Lord, your benefits. This is what I tell him, oh. When I'm with him, I get down my knees and I say, my Lord and my maker, look at what you have done. May I never get to any place. I'm telling him now where I forget you. Can any man lift you when God has not lifted you? Can any door open for you when God has not authorized it? I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. Let me not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget, Lord, your benefits. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. The question the Lord is asking you today is who has the power to help you and has refused to help you because of abuse and misuse have you abused opportunities have you abused relationships have you abused doors hallelujah praise the name of the lord number five My glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Remain my glory, the lifter up of my head. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. You try this, ladies and gentlemen. Use even if it's a few hours sometime this week. And don't ask for anything. Just roll before the Lord. Find a way, mention things, mention people, mention doors, mention opportunities. You do this as an experiment and watch what happens to you. Forget about what you think he has not done, what men has, have not done, what is not yet there. Thank him for what has happened. Lord, I thank you for life. I recovered from this infirmity. You took away shame. Quarter to shame. My family would have been left as an object of shame and mockery. And look how you came in gallantly. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. You are my glory. The lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. Are you ready for number five? The fifth reason why people experience calamities, tragedies, and losses is as a result of demonic and satanic attacks. Demonic and satanic attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, Satan is not a friend. He will kill everything he can kill. Destroy everything he can destroy. I assure you on that. Satan is ever determined to destroy every family. Destroy Koinonia, Joshua Selman, your family. Provided you are on earth more so that you name the name of Christ. You have drawn a line that it takes understanding and engaging the forces of victory to overcome. John 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal look at this and to kill and to destroy 
This is Satan's assignment. When it comes to your life, he will steal, he will kill and he will destroy. The same way God schedules men to give you opportunities. Satan is a robber. Ladies and gentlemen, let me list for you a few things that he steals. He steals years. He steals destinies. He steals relationships. He steals resources. He steals your convictions. He steals your discernment. Like I taught you two weeks ago, he steals your ability to see. There are thieves that when they come to your house is your money direct money they don't have the time to carry rice to carry beans to carry yam that's not part of what they are looking for they need something they can take immediately not satan when satan steps into a life he does not even spare anything your joy he will take your peace he will take your relationships he will take hallelujah how do you know satan has visited a man please listen to me because there will always be perpetual depletion decline pain losses tragedies satan for you let satan come into a home and you will see the best of couples loving jesus and loving themselves for a silly sometimes insignificant reason satan the programmer for you he will program tragedy and pain you can see his signature every time he steps into a life you will see a beautiful destiny a young gentleman a young lady serving the lord with all their hearts and loving jesus and let satan be allowed to strike and you see everything will go down he will replace beauty with ashes joy with mourning everything goes down have you seen people with all due respect that you knew years, maybe years ago, and now you maybe you stumble across them and sometimes you have to hold yourself because of the shock. You almost want to say, what happened? How come you depleted like this? Looking as if you were left for dead. Where is the job? It's gone. That opportunity is gone. Where are your relatives? All gone. Where is your joy? It's gone. Are you still a child of God? I'm, I'm not sure. What has happened to you now? I'm depressed. Who caused it? My uncle. Wrong answer. Satan. Satan for you. He will come in and destroy people. Destroy whatever. You see a man of God who was vibrant, on fire, loving Jesus, commanding signs and wonders. And with all due respect, years later, no vibrancy, no fire is all gone. Where is your influence? He stole it. Your reputation? He stole it. Your integrity is gone. The name God gave you is gone. Listen, if you let Satan, he would destroy you. My assignment tonight is not just to announce this. There are some prayers who are going to pray in this place that everything Satan has stolen in the name that is above all names, I'm praying for you, it must be restored this night. Not next week, it must be restored this night. There are people, some of them listening to me now, once upon a time, you could build a house for people without thinking twice. Today, you can plead for 20,000 Naira. Your brain did not disappear. Satan visited you. Hallelujah. Once great, once blessed, once anointed, once upon a time, with all due respect, around the world, there are many vibrant people who used to serve the Lord with energy. If you hear that they are coming to town, or you hear that they are coming to a nation, I mean, you just have to pray that you are even able to reach there. But today they call on a nation and nobody answers. Can I tell you, the worst thing that can happen to a man is to once be in a position where God places you. And then in your lifetime, and also in the presence of those you raised, you go down. I forbid it over your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Some of your parents, some of our parents, in their lifetime, they were blessed they loved Jesus. They had influence. Some of you saw people line up in your houses. 
just to see your parents. But in old age, they are alone. Everybody, you had to change your surname because if you still use that name, it may program failure for you. Come on now. Satan for you. Mm. You have known the works of God. I think I was teaching for who now? I think it was, it was Bishop Adejumo. And I shared something in that meeting I still remember. There are things when you see, you know it's a man that has done it. There are things when you see, you know it is God that has done it. But there are things when you see, you know that this is Satan. Hallelujah. A man comes to meet you and say, young lady, I like you, you're a nice lady. Let me go and see your parents. And then Satan intercepts. And all of a sudden, doesn't pick the call again, doesn't do anything again. What happened? I had a dream and I saw that you were a witch. Come on now, Satan for you. I'm, I'm saying this because I'm going to pray for someone. Anything that has taken away your glory, any demonic thing that is bringing you to a point of shame, I call upon my God who is also your God. He must give way, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hallelujah. Please sit down. With all due respect, there are people today perhaps they would have been appointed in certain great positions around the world. But just before the appointments get there, there were some Ahitophels who reached before them and said, do you know what? Don't lift this woman. Don't lift this man. And they have remained so. I made up my mind that that story once great will never be used in my life. No, that story once anointed, once impactful. But to, to keep that testimony, it takes more than a heart of integrity. You must know what to do with Satan. Hallelujah. You must know what to do with Satan. I once prayed for a lady, true story. This lady met me and she said, Apostle, you must pray for me. I think I'm possessed. I said, how do you just come and say you are possessed? She said, I don't understand. Everybody keeps having dreams that I'm either pursuing them or killing them. It's my face they keep seeing. More than, according to her, over 10 people in the church. And then, of course, they will share with the church leaders. And everybody just told them, avoid this lady. And some already had called her a witch. A faithful worker in the church. And she noticed that her leaders, true story, the leaders who avoid her, everybody who avoid her because they go to bed and they see her face. I can tell you, that is a satanic manipulation because her destiny is around that vicinity. And Satan may know that in her rising, maybe the rising of her family members. Satan is very calculative. He makes sure that what he attacks must create a ripple effect. Who can I touch in this family? That will affect the 20 other people. Oh, you are the one. Then he comes. Do you know why you lost the job? It's not just an issue of incompetence. You better open your eyes and see that this was an attack. Because in your getting that job is the health, the nourishment, and the stability of every other person in your family. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. A dear woman one time reached me and she said she gave birth to according to her now and i'm saying it because she had shared the testimony herself she gave birth to a normal son very fine very normal son and then i think about the age of three or four he began to exhibit hyperactive you know he started behaving you know this and that and they went to the hospital only to say that the boy was autistic and she said i never gave birth to an autistic child this child was normal this child was this and that and they gave some drugs and she just felt that's all right. You see, carelessness again. That was a time to attack this thing with energy. No, let him just grow a while. And they found out that the thing was getting, he was becoming violent. And I said, Madam, you are not just a mother. You are not just a wife. You are a priest. If you ignore that duty, it is not only this child. Everything Satan does is not the only thing he wants to do. It's just the first thing he's doing. Did you hear what I said? Every attack Satan launches on your life is only part one. I assure you there is part two, three, four, and part infinity coming to the degree to which you allow him. But as for me, from onset, Shabakatapa, I don't have the time to waste. Immediately, 
not Koinonia, not Joshua Selman. The blood is upon this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Is someone learning now? This is where the place of spiritual intelligence comes. Learn to discern when Satan is around the vicinity. Negative things start happening. Someone who used to love you now hates you for no reason. Don't sit down saying, my boss, I'm finding flimsy excuses. He is not my tribe, that's why. They will soon drive you out of that place. Go and shut the door and say, I know. I know that when you grant favor, oh God, you grant favor completely. In the name of Jesus, the spirit around my place of work that is making them antagonize me. I call the name of the God of Jeshurun and I curse you over this office. Hallelujah. There are preachers with all due respect that begin to see the movement of Satan around their ministries. Stories are flying around. Things are happening around. People are becoming rebellious antagonistic it is not a leadership problem alone it is a spiritual problem it means that satan has discerned the impact of that organization that ministry and he's coming to scatter everything your assignment is to learn to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray in one week you spent over one million treating mysterious sicknesses your husband became sick just when you were trying to help him the children became sick then you hit your car somewhere and then the generator stopped spoiling and then everything is happening and you find out you are getting angry without cause you can't pray you can't fast it's an attack it's not psychology it's an attack a once brilliant child now that you started paying school fees of say 1.5 million per term because of your passion to invest someone who used to be the brightest in the class now does not know he's about maybe the second to the last and you keep quiet and he keeps going down one time the school calls you and say we're sorry we may have to relieve you, your child. It is not your child's being dull. It is called the waster. There is something called the waster in scripture. Is someone learning? The waster. Demonic attacks are real. I assure you by God, demonic attacks are real. Satan attacks men. He attacks ministries. I told you that there are demons allocated over territories. There are spirits allocated over, you know, generally believers to stop the purposes of God. But there are spirits that are allocated. They follow mantles. They follow offices, not men. Whoever holds that office and holds that mantle will have to contend with that spirit. There are spirits that follow ministries, not men. So there is a widespread manifestation of certain disasters. How will you like to be part of a ministry that you hear that in one month, 25 people just died mysteriously? It will now make sense to say that, could it be that something is happening? And in, in, in peace, you will leave. That is Satan for you. I'm saying it again. In the name of Jesus, every attack. Because some of you, you came to church tonight, you are in the middle of an inexplainable battle rising from left and center what is happening in my life god give me an explanation and i'm telling you that for many of you it is just an assault an attack from satan now listen one one of the signature proof that satan has visited you is your health listen listen this health you see I know that there are many doctors here and with all due respect, I honor and I respect you. We're having a training already for our medical practitioners. But can I tell you with all humility, I've been in this business of ministry and the spirit life for a while. I know what Satan does. It is impossible for Satan to attack you and leave your health. It's a lie. How do you know? Mysterious manifestations, they first start small. He tests your capacity in the spirit and then you keep quiet. It's just continuous headache that comes every month. 
it's just it's just some demonic thing um help them please I, I know that this thing i'm just feeling serious pain i went to the hospital and they said it's nothing um it's just a it's just a mild bleeding situation it, the, the doctor said he does not understand but he's still there i just know that every time i lie down i see myself in a coffin somewhere and i wake up tired my friend get up from the strength of spiritual intelligence and begin to deal with that issue otherwise you would destroy your life hallelujah praise the name of the lord know when it is just a medical situation and when spirits have participated with you. there are certain tiredness that is not because of the work you are doing it's an attack from hell hallelujah heart pain headache and they tell you they found a tumor at the back of your head how did it get there we don't know what is going to happen now you need 10 million 15 million and you've saved just when you save to finally build a house i tell you it's an attack don't smile and say it's all right it's just part of these things hallelujah it's good to eat well walk with what the doctors say i eat well i make sure i eat healthy don't be careless but in addition to it, please come to terms with the fact that we live in a real world. And don't let Satan lie to you taking advantage of age. You are not the first person to be old. Refuse that thing that the older you are getting, the more you should deteriorate. I don't know about you, but I choose to reject it. No, as my days are, so shall my strength be. This is what my Bible teaches me. If you don't believe this, you will get into trouble. One day you will wake up, a young man, 30, 40 years, you stand up as if you are 80 years. Reject that spirit. It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. If it's part of my body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head you must wake up. My heart you wake up too. My respiratory system, you must wake up. Speak to your body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer, I cause fibroid, I cause prostate cancer, I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You believe what you are doing? Satan attacks men. He attacked Jesus. He attacked the apostles. He attacks everything pro God. He attacks everything pro grace. He attacks everything pro life. He attacks everything pro destiny. He attacks everything pro wisdom. Your assignment is to be on your guard and not let him take advantage of you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Your business was working well. But the day you said I would take 20% out of my business to fund the gospel and sponsor children, maybe young people who cannot make it. Satan said, what did you say? That Jesus will benefit from this business? All right, I'm on my way coming. Hallelujah. Someone wants to bless you. That is when they forget. Someone promises to lift you. That is when they forget. They vow calling the name of Jesus that this week you will smile. That is when they forget. It's your assignment to force them to remember. No, no, no. Listen, if you are a businessman here and things have not been working, please, when it's time to pray, I'm releasing my faith with you. Be serious and pray. Be serious and pray. Don't say my uncle was just made a commissioner or my uncle was just made a senator. The arm of flesh will fail you. Oh. You need to pray in the name of Jesus Christ.
you go to bed and you see yourself in a grave wake up and close that grave wake up and close that grave and curse the spirit that dug that grave hallelujah parents don't watch you see what I'm not scaring you but you see the kind of disaster that is happening bless your children speak over them declare that you go out and you come in the Bible says you're going out and coming in you will not go out and get missing you go out and I expect you to come in no one chance no satanic driver anybody who is looking for blood and looking for a child minus you and your children in the name of Jesus I said minus you and your children I'm not wasting your time when the Lord puts a burden in my heart like this it is because he's keeping you and protecting you and opening your eyes to see certain things for some of you you have lacked discernment for some of you it is carelessness for some of you it is what's the third one ignorance for some of you abuse but for some you've done everything right Satan has just decided to test God's integrity in your life hallelujah praise the name of the Lord doors close help us go away jobs whatever it is people who used to like you and want to help you they see you and they say you are such a nice person you have a great heart let me see how I can help you let me see how I can help your family how about those who even go through the interview for the jobs they've called your name they've told you everything they said all right you hear from us in two weeks two weeks have become two years in destiny your portion does not come to you you force it to come did you hear what I said he said right from the days of John the Baptist until now the kingdom suffered violent and ladies and gentlemen the spiritually violent would take it by force ministry will not rise till you force it to rise your finances will not rise it will go up and down he says strong men retain wealth you need to know how to command your portion hallelujah hallelujah now let me show you a key I want us to pray I don't want time to go before we pray because I have to fulfill this assignment let me stop here and show you a key I don't know how many you can take but I want to show you the keys for total deliverance you need the key you need the key knowing what God wants to do does not make it happen in your life you must know the will of God and the strategy to bring that will to pass learn this it is not enough to know what God wants to do the knowledge of the will of God does not translate to experiencing his will you need to know the will of God and then in addition know the strategy for many people they know what God wants to do but they do not know the strategy they were not patient God told you I will do this in your life and they just said amen if listen 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 Thank you, Jesus. God just put this in my heart. Listen, it is God's will plus God's strategy that equals God's dimension of results. God's will plus your strategy will not work. You can know the will of God. God wants me to do this. God wants me to go here. But if you don't stay, usually he does not reveal his will and his strategy at the same time. You need to have spiritual understanding to know that if you have received a blueprint of God's will, then stay until the strategy comes. Just because he wants to give you Jericho does not mean you, you invent how to defeat Jericho. You may use a sword and die like he did not direct you. It is God's will plus God's strategy. God says you should start a church. Let him give you the strategy on how to build it. God said you should start an NGO. Don't invent your strategy. God will never speak to you and not give you a strategy. It's just that sometimes a strategy does not come at the same time. You have to wait. Your marching order is when the will and the strategy arrives. Did you hear what I'm saying now? Yeah. 
God said he will give me a house in Abuja, you may say, that is true. But by what strategy? You have to wait. God said I should relocate to Abuja and come and do ministry. But what strategy? You can hang around this city for forever and find out that doors does not open for you because the strategy is not there. God said I should expand my businesses to Europe and America, you may say, and then you just get up and start doing it in the flesh. Most times the trouble is, is not that people did not hear God, is that they do not know that in actualizing prophetic things the speakings of god it is the knowledge of his will plus the grace to stay until you receive the strategy the moment the strategy comes the miracle is about to happen yes water can be turned to wine but by what strategy yes jordan can part the red sea can part but by what strategy yes bread can remain and not be spent all through famine but by what strategy? Yes, the dead child can come back to life. But by what strategy? Every miracle you see in the Bible was a combination of the will of God and a strategy. The will of God and a divine strategy. It is the assignment of the Holy Spirit in partnership with the word to reveal. Is the reason why no part of any two people, no matter how close, even if a husband and wife, their spiritual parts will not be the same. The destiny may be the same, but the strategy allocated is unique, bespoke to only you. Two people can be involved in real estate and on the same day God can tell them in one year I will establish you but the strategies differ for someone God can use a strategy and give him an ambitious project set up an estate and announce it and I will send men and he will take that risk and God will honor it and that will be how God lifts him the other person will do that and crash for that person, his strategy will be to go and submit to a real estate company and learn and scale and grow that way. Never assume a strategy just because you heard God correctly. When he speaks, don't just know that he has said to do this. Lord, how do you intend for it to come to pass? I like Mary. How shall these things be? Not what? She knew the what? But how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man? And the strategy was revealed to her. She now agreed with the will and the strategy. Be it unto me according to your word. Apostle, God is prospering people. The strategies differ. Are we together? Now.